You're probably here because you're wondering some of the same things that I was wondering. Is Hell Let Loose dying? Who the hell is Team 17? Why hasn't this game gotten a solid update since the beta released? Will this game ever be any better than it already is? And I'd like to answer some of those questions for you. How's it going, everybody? My name is Magneti, and I welcome you to the Mothership. Today, let's talk about Hell Let Loose. I want to welcome you to my self-guided tour of the shit show that is currently Hell Let Loose in 2023. So I want to start by brisking over the 2023 roadmap. So on the Hell Let Loose YouTube channel, they uploaded a video called Hell Let Loose 2023 Roadmap Reveal. This video was up uh, about five months ago, so early 2023, around March timeframe. So in this video at about minute marker, one minute, 23 seconds, they have a photo of their Hell Let Loose Roadmap. They have updates for April, June, July, September, and December. And each of them has quite a bit different varying things within it. And it looks really Really promising and you know the team 17 whoever the hell they are, are look like they're gonna come through and kind of fix this game and make it more fun however it kind of seems like nothing has came from that if I'm being completely honest after looking at it I personally don't feel like I have experienced any of the updates or if any much at all of what they promised that they were gonna be bringing so really nothing has come from it really there's been patches and maybe they've done some reworks to the maps and I'm sure they're working on stuff in the background but I feel like I haven't been playing anything very new I think maybe there's been one new map or they redid a map they like remade it changed it completely there's supposed to be new game modes coming like I feel like I haven't seen anything come from it maybe I just haven't been playing enough I don't know I haven't noticed anything really different this year about the game that much I know that there was that huge thing that went off on reddit about the player movement speed because I know that team 17 has been hoping to work on the locomotion or player uh, mechanics like mantling for example and not getting stuck on objects and hopefully not getting stuck on other people would be nice too the year is over half over now. We're in August. It's uh, actually two thirds of the way done, which is 66%, which is 16 more percent than 50%. And I'm just kind of disappointed. There's just not really much has happened. And uh, they kind of came out the gates, you know, hit the ground running. And uh, then they just tripped and fell and have been crying ever since. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. Now, this isn't a slash at Team 17 by any means, because, you know, of course, we'll get into it later, but this is a really big game. So it was all built on lies, right? No, not really, I'm just kidding. But I scrolled through the Steam updates and for this entire year, it's all been like patches. And uh, again, it doesn't seem like much has really come from it. So I'm quite disappointed in uh, what has been going on. There's definitely been patchwork done, which is great. Always love to see that. There's definitely been minor updates here and there. They've put out messages to the community. They've done developer briefings. They're releasing a video today that they're gonna talk about stuff, but I didn't really even see a whole lot of value in watching that video. It's like they're just sending a message to the community. They're gonna touch on some things here and there. For example, they're gonna talk about LODs, VoIP, a practice range, British faction reworks, the Firefly tank, recon and artillery, I would assume they're talking about the gameplay loop there. They're going to talk about node system, garrisons. They're going to encourage us to build garrisons. I guess that's something I haven't been doing enough. Plans for a progression system. I don't know. Maybe they're looking to rework it. They're looking at loadout reworks. They're going to touch on a lot of different things here. But what I'm trying to get at is this. They're going to talk about all this. They're going to tell us what their plans are. And then it's not going to happen. You see where I'm going with this? What I'm saying here? This is great and all. And I would love to watch this. I'm probably not going to because it's two fucking hours long and I'm not into that. However, my point being here is that Team 17 has a lot of plans for this game which I love because I love Hell Let Loose. It's a very fun game and I think that it has a shitload of potential. I think it is kind of an old game now at this point. However, not much has changed since they took over and uh, again, the roadmap was just a letdown. So really, we're just hoping for the best, right? And who is Team 17? Well, let's go over that real quick. Team 17 is a new development team. Black Matter LTD kind of gave up pretty much once the game was launched out of open beta after the open beta was done and uh, they launched the game full release. It seemed like Black Matter LTD had uh, kind of given up. 
Now, I wasn't around for the game back in 2019. I just got into it earlier last year, I believe. So I am not speaking from personal experience. I'm actually just completely speaking of Reddit posts and what other people have shared their emotions on. So again, Team 17 sounds promising. What had happened was Black Matter about a year ago, I believe, was already ready to sell Hell Let Loose as an IP and intellectual property for about 30 million pounds, I believe, or uh, 30 million dollars of some sort, some European currency. I'm not familiar with all of them so i'm sorry but yeah basically it's just uh black matter kind of gave up and team 17 again they really do sound promising they do have a lot of plans but the big issue is that the player base is too small and that is a really big issue in my opinion okay so let's go ahead and answer all the questions that i brought up in the beginning so is hell let loose dying we already kind of went over team 17 why have there been no solid updates and will hell let loose ever get better so let's start with his Hell Let Loose dying. I kind of think so, honestly. Again, I think the player base is too small. It's just there's just not enough people to support the development team through DLC or cosmetic purchases. So what can you do and what can I do? What can we do as a team, as a player base? Really, all we can do is buy the cosmetics. If you find cosmetics that you like or if they release other DLC like a map, which honestly I think would be smart on their end to release a map pack or a DLC pack in general and make it to be paid for for because at least like five bucks, 10 bucks, something cheap, something that, you know, is reasonably affordable. That way they can get more support monetarily to continue to develop more things and pay their fucking employees, right? I think personally, that is probably a big issue on their end. So generally speaking, player base is too small. What can we do to help hell it loose from dying? Buy stuff. If you find stuff you like, buy it. So why has there been no solid update? Again, this is kind of looping back around to the player base being too small. The dev team has no monies and it's a fucking massive game. This this game is absolutely huge. I think there's something like 10 maps, maybe even more, and every map is fucking massive, and there's 14 different roles, all with at least two different loadouts for weapons and gear and equipment, and this game is really big. It is a very big game, and honestly, it's kind of an indie game. Black Matter and Team 17, never fucking heard of those development companies, so I am considering it indie devs. So basically, that explains why there's been no really solid update other than Black Matter kind of giving up. The game is just massive. It doesn't have a very large player base anymore, and they haven't been really raking in any money since the game launched. So generally speaking, that's why there hasn't been any solid updates or really like what I'm saying is like well-rounded, massive like rollouts of updates. Like when you think of like update 14, I mean, I don't think of anything because update 14 just created a lot of drama in the community and it didn't really roll out anything any super massive. But when you think of an update 14, you're like, oh yeah, this is like the next big update. Like there's going to be a patch rolled out shortly after and then maybe even a 14.1 update like two months after that. And then we'll be waiting for update 15 in like three months. But that doesn't really happen with this game because of how big it is. The size of the game itself, not the player base. So will Hell Let Loose ever get better? That's really the last question I'm going to address here. And my response to that is, does Asgard have a rainbow bridge? Fuck if I know. I have no fucking idea, okay? Honestly, all we can do is hope and buy any good DLCs to support the company as they release them. And generally speaking, I would say, will the game ever get better? Will Hell Let Loose ever get better? Eventually would be my answer. If I had to say something other than fuck if I know, it would be eventually. And that's on sheer hope, to be completely honest. Now, what does this mean for my channel if you're concerned about that? I'm still gonna upload Hell Let Loose content at least for a while until I run out of ideas or a content to make. I do enjoy my Let's Play series, so if you enjoyed that, I'll probably be making another one of those maybe next month. Although I will also be covering Starfield, but I don't wanna get too into the nitty gritty because this is about Hell Let Loose. So. Yeah, generally speaking, Hell Let Loose, in my opinion, I feel like it's dying. Keep playing it if you enjoy it. If you don't, then don't play it. And uh, support the devs if you like any content that they drop that costs money. That way they can continue to create more content. Other than that, go ahead and subscribe if you want more stuff like this and stay tuned for more gaming content. We'll talk again real soon. Peace!